Tyler, I'm struggling out here. Raw Dog is struggling. Because I am not ready, my guy. No pop tart in sight. First computer was invented in the 1940s. Thank God for Nightbot. No, don't skip me. I'm on a mission to tell you. Runes? No, you're not, Tyler. Daily beating? You're supposed to be in your own stream. How are you here right now? Boy's not quite ready, but we're going to do it anyway. Death facts? The average amount of people that die on cruise ships per year is 200? What's going on, folks? Welcome back. I got a new webcam. 60 frames per second. Look at my hands moving. Look at me. Alright, so here's the issue. We got audio problems. So you can hear me, but the background music is not working. I'm out of breath because I just sprinted to the other room to get my freaking Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar. Looking fine in 60 FPS. Thank you. Yeah, I don't... I guess I'm not going to listen to music if y'all can't listen to music. I really don't know what the issue is. I, I honestly anytime you connect a new peripheral to your freaking streaming setup you're screwed for sound sound audio stuff all gets so messed up I truly I'm gonna mess with it for one couple more minutes here let me know if you hear anything at all 
a light on your PlayStation sign. That sounds pretty lit. I think you showed me the sign, Tyler. Let's get the YouTube window open here. We need an incognito window. I'm already on it. Oh, except I put the correct, I put my zip code in when I meant to put one, two, three, four, five. Oh no, y'all can see it? <laughs> Dang it. Smart guy. We got MP3 in the freaking building. Mod squad. You think that this is okay without music? Without background music? Or should I keep messing with it? We got Game Girl Advance SP. I literally played Zelda every Monday for the last 11 Mondays and you show up for the eBay stream. Mind blowing. Regardless, definitely happy to have you here. Welcome to the stream, Hannah Montana. Trying to get myself set up here seven minutes in. Def a little odd without music. Well, thanks for the honesty. Um, I'll see what I can do. Probably nothing. MP3 is cool either way. That's what I like to hear. I watched a few Zelda streams. I'm still appreciative that you're here, pal. Great to see you. Thank you, Tyler. The back is even cooler. All right, testing this real quick. Where's the zip code? Perfect. All right, let's show this. Not that. That. <clears throat> there we go. Perfect. There we go. Look, we're like two minutes into this stream. I'm not trying to get ganged up on already. Um, so I have the Discord pulled up. No. You're going to pick up the Milwaukee Power Combo. What? <laughs> Is there a, a special on tools right now? Yeah, I don't even know where to begin with this audio situation here. This has to be fixed real quick. There we go. And then what else do we need? Only $139? That sounds like the real kind of deals we should be hunting right now. Need to get this Excel sheet pulled up. Oh, it was on the eBay. Dude, I have, I'm not even looking at that. I know y'all can see my mouse and everything, but I'm on a totally different web browser right now. Collecting video games. We want Nintendo. Nope, not Rayman. We want Nintendo. We want Nintendo DS. 
Excel. That is not it. Apparently I have a full set list of Nintendo DS games. That is news to me. Maybe I put it in the streaming folder. It's even a price drop? Heck yeah. Sorry, I'm still preparing, guys. What did everyone have for dinner, though? You guys know the freaking drill. You got a Steam Deck. Man, that's the perfect machine for someone that loves to mod stuff. There you go, MP3. Dang it, man. Where is this DS variance list? Oh, I bet I can find it in my Discord with the link. There she goes. Alright, God knows where I saved that, but at least I found it. Alright, let's get this window now. Nintendo DS variants, Google Sheets. Yes, sir. Very nice. Very nice indeed. All right, we're going to change the size of that again. And voila, we have made it, folks. Very nice, very nice. Uh, MP3 had pasta. Brendan had the same dinner as yesterday, so he hopes I remember. I don't even think he told me yesterday, Brendan. Pokeball. I love me some Pokeballs. Well, love might not be the right word. Tyler already showed his. I guess I don't get to find it unless I scroll up. Uh, he's going to punish me like that. All right, I am hurt that you don't remember. Mm. I got about a million and one things going on right now. But if someone could tell me why my audio is not working, my background music, that'd be excellent. Whatever, I'm pretty much ready, guys. Ready to dive into some Nintendo DS variants. Does anyone have one that we should start with? Sorry, wrong stream. I don't even know what you're talking about, Daily Beating. I am so bothered by the fact that I can't get music in here that I am delaying us even further. All my fun comments get filtered out. Thank God for that. All right. We got lousy uh, diet soda, but on the bright side, I have lost 25 pounds. So shout out to Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar. All right, no background music today. That's it. I give up. We're moving on. Thank you, Hannah. Thank you very much. 
Add some magic to your collection, folks. So here's what we got, folks. Just as a little refresher, we got about 50. We had exactly 50 DS variants last time. Let's go ahead and sort them by A to Z. There we go. Temporary filter. Okay. Um, I wanted it to be permanent. Oh, it's view only. Gosh, dang it! I have to. I'm on the wrong. Oh my gosh. One thing after another tonight. <laughs> Hang on, folks. I have to open it under my bird dog gaming freaking bird dog gaming Google Chrome. There she goes. Okay. One more time. Oh, and it did it automatically. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and zoom in for you folks who have poor eyesight. Go ahead and crop this out a little bit. All right, now that all of my audience has definitely gone to sleep, let's get it. He will start streaming early, but doesn't. The things I would do for 25 pounds of bird dog gaming. Some sickos in the chat. All right, let's get it. Uh, we're going to start off with, so let's quickly take a gander here. We got, we got a sort from A to Z. Two games, one low price. The Price is Right and Rayman Raving Rabbids. Alvin and the Chipmunks, I don't even remember doing that one. Um, we got some Castlevania in here. Lots of shovelware, lots of Disney. Finding Nemo apparently doesn't have Disney in the front. So we're going to start with um, the ones in the Discord. So you guys actually shared some more and I never added them to this Excel sheet. So. We'll start with this one here. Let me copy this link. You guys are on the wrong tab. There we go. Uh, let's see. Drawn to life. Code inside to unlock exclusive templates. Very nice. This one actually comes with it. For $10 plus shipping, you can get yourself a nice little Drawn to Life variant. Let's make sure it's a variant real quick. Uh, yes, I would say it certainly is. And it's not on the seal. It is definitely not on the seal. Cool. So Drawn to Life code inside. Actually, let's make sure we didn't already add that. No, we did not. Code inside to unlock exclusive templates. Sticker variant. All right. <laughs> How's everyone's week going? How is uh how's everybody feeling on Tuesday now?
back on Discord. Sanders also shared another drawn to life variant. Sadro, you're killing me, dude. The first thing he says when he walks in is where is the background music? I literally cannot get it to work. Should we just like call it a night? Should we just quit the stream tonight? Drawn to life the next chapter. Best of E3 winner for IGN. Five bonus hero templates code inside. Let's see. LOL, I'm joking. Welcome to the stream, uh, Sajiro. Alright, there's a sealed one and a sealed one. One has it and one doesn't. Looks like all of them have the E3 emblem. But yeah, we're going to say that the template variant is a variant. So good call, Mr. Sanders from the Discord. DS only tonight, Sadro. Anything else will get you banned from the channel for life. Don't even mention a Wii variant. Don't even think about it. All right, so we got five bonus hero templates code inside. What does DS stand for? Double screen or dual screen or I don't know man. Uh, cool, so next up we have also from Sanders Oh, good call. Thank you for enlightening us, Mr. Daily Beating. I'm trying to tell my man he should come to TMG next year. So, I don't know how I feel about this. What does it say? GameStop exclusive code inside? Oh. What? Does it have the code? That's freaking weird. No, I'm just messing around, Sadro. Send it to me. We'll take a gander. Dang, lots of drawn to life variants to start the stream off. Okay, is this on a sealed? No, it's not sealed, so. Right off the bat, I'm seeing multiple. I think we can safely say that this is indeed a variant. I know about scribble knots. I don't think, I feel like it's the same thing as drawn to life, Hannah. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's the truth. If I wanted to complete the Switch set, do I need to get those download cards from Target to have them all? That is the age-old question. The five-year-old question, actually. Um, I probably would. I probably would. Alright, Drawn to Life. SpongeBob SquarePants edition. Does it say edition on it? Yes, it does. And it says new, no, GameStop. Ex GameStop exclusive code inside. Nice. Also in the Discord we have from Pac-Man Fan 2001. Adventure Time. Hey Ice King, why'd you steal our garbage collector's edition? Let's see.
copy message link. Lizzie McGuire 2 GBA cart and variant sold about a week ago. Yeah, somebody actually, um, what the heck did I just do? Somebody, somebody showed me that one. I didn't realize that one was so rare. Um, but yeah, that one is pretty tough. I'll go ahead and show it for all of the Lizzie McGuire fans. Yeah, it's pretty rare. Oh, I think it was, uh, Zylotic83, my guy, uh, Vinny, who is often in the chat. He's the one that showed it to me. Sadro, don't play around, man. We know we know how it is, pal. I don't know. I thought this was common, but but I guess it's not. Disney's game plus TV episode. So I don't even know if there's two cartridges inside of here or what's going on. It's probably just, I don't know. If it's just one cartridge, then you got to count that towards the set. Let's go ahead and see if there's any listed real quick while we're supposed to be looking at... Uh, so there's a loose cartridge, so there it is. It's just all in one. I've seen about three cartridges. That might be one, or probably not. It's probably a loose cartridge. Oh, did you see that? 3DO 007 Bloodstone on the 3DO for $30. Used game. Game only. Why is it $30 if it's Lizzie McGuire? Who knows? Is the Even Stevens DS game rare? I guess we gotta find out. Ew, $30. And page three, we got another cart. Cart. Oh, this person actually put stock photos and real pictures. Very nice. Anyways, keep an eye out for it. Make a safe search, folks. Here we have the collector's edition of Adventure Time. Hey, Ice King, why'd you steal our garbage? Question mark, exclamation point, exclamation point. Uh, let's see if there was a non-collector's edition, because I have no idea. Nah, Sejiro, I don't own it. And we got to get rid of 3DS. We'll type ice. Also, does this one have a not for resale? No, it does not. Oh, it's way forward. I wonder if it's a good game. Man, every stream I feel like I find out there's a new way forward game and it just like blows my mind. The king of GBA variants? What would make you say such a thing? Like I said, man, I thought that thing was common as heck, but I am mistaken. So this has French and English. This one, same thing. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say that that is a variant for sure. This doesn't say collector's edition on it, does it? Oh, something's going on here. does not say anything about collector's edition but we will go ahead and count it you don't like adventure time I love me some regular show did you watch uh, that one show that came out on HBO Max there's three seasons of it um, Hey, Ice King, why'd you steal our garbage? Close enough. Yeah, that was a good show. A 
why'd you steal our garbage? Love it. Heyo, Vinny! I just watched the first 20 minutes of that video you sent me, and uh, I would like to be more into um, cartoon YouTube, so show me some freaking YouTubers to subscribe to so that I can be into that side of YouTube. Alright, back over on the Discord. I found Pets Nursery. Good grief. Is that not in our Excel sheet? It is not. Alright, back to YouTube we go. I mean, eBay, not YouTube. Dang it, everyone hates the lack of freaking no no background music. I literally I can't play background music. Maybe maybe I'll play it through my speaker and y'all can tell me how awful it sounds. That's what we're going to do. Hang on. We're going to play it and it's going to get picked up by my speak by my microphone. Shut y'all's butts up. I bet, I bet Tyler told you to say that. No background music. All right, let's give it a shot. Let's see how this one is. Nope, it's only 90 minutes long. We need something else. There we go. All right, can y'all hear that crap? And tell me if it sounds like crap. Tell me if it's too loud. Just tell me if it's echoing. Give me all the information. Tell me if I need to turn it up or down, whatever. Anyways, here we have Pets Nursery. Very iconic game for the Nintendo DS. Oh yeah, we were just looking at the uh, Lizzie McGuire variant here live on the stream, my friend. And I totally gave you the shout out. Bonus collectible pet cards. Walmart exclusive variant. Very important. Everyone needs to add it to their collection. Sorry guys, there's an exclamation point there. I also shared a Target exclusive, very rare apparently, Nintendo DS variant of Transformers in the Discord. Transformers Decepticons. So we already had Transformers War for Cybertron. Decepticons. Kinda loud now. Alright, let me know if you can still hear it. So let me know what you think now. Testing, testing, testeruni. All right, that sounds pretty good. Let's go. You have a diamond bone now? Oh, heck yeah. Welcome to the six month club. Okay. 
Transformers Decepticons. What's the variant? Target exclusive. So this is the same as the Wii one. I shared this in my YouTube video uh, like a good year, year and a half ago on Wii variants, but basically this comes with one of these inside which is super cool you hold it over this you get the code you go to freaking target.com or whatever transformers.com and you uh get some bonus content target.com slash transformers so yeah that's a target variant very hard to tell from the front i mean you can't tell from the front so it's one of those where you literally have to flip it over which is pretty neat um we're just going to call it Target Exclusive, I don't know, what should we call this? Secret Code Variant? I like it. And I'm willing to bet that there is an Autobots one, so let's go ahead and find that. New Xbox controller just came out and it's pretty it's a pretty one about to buy one off of GameStop. Tell me what to search, man. Yo, what is this? Wow, I accidentally just came across this. Wow, that's actually, they're both on one cart, but it's a combo pack, so that's actually going into our, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to switch it over, but here you go. Um, just came across this on accident, the Ultimate Autobots Edition, and I'm willing to bet, once again, there is a Decepticon one. Lunar Shift Xbox Controller, we will look at that in a moment. You can definitely see Tyler. Open your eyes, pal. Uh, let's go ahead and add that to the multi-cards. We got Dan in the building. Welcome, my friend. It is great to have you here. Oh, wait. This doesn't go here. Going to the multi-cards. Well, let me see what we did for... Uh... Dang it. I got too many freaking tabs open here. Transformers the Ultimate Autobots Edition. There's no the. So this is what I don't call a variant personally. So we're kind of keeping this separate. Uh, if we go to the Scribble Knots collection real quick, I want to see if that was two cartridges or one. Scribble Knots what? Collection, that's it. Dan the Man. Okay, was this one cartridge or two? One cartridge, alright. I don't count it as a variant. I know a lot of people do, so we're going to go ahead and mention it here. Only doing DS variants. I don't you get you mention any Wii, Super Nintendo, Game Boy, you're out of here. You're banned for life. Don't even think about it. Okay. Um we were looking at Transformers Ultimate Autobots Edition. Got it. What is that? Autobots version. Oh wow, that's pretty neat. They really tried to make more money like uh, Pokemon out here with these versions. So what we're gonna do right now is get rid of all of the, all of the excess trash. that everything it would certainly appear so okay so Pokemon is one month away and I am so ready 
let's go ahead and start pulling them out here. We're going to look at the back of this, see if we can find the target version. I'm pretty optimistic it exists. In fact, I would be shook if it didn't exist. Still hear the music? No variant. Are you joking or you really can't hear the music? Bro, shut up. I can freaking hear it. I literally struggled for the first 17 minutes and you think it's okay to make jokes now. Alright, there's the variant. Just to confirm it existed. There we go. That's a life lesson, folks. Don't ever assume things. Raindrops aren't really shaped like drops. They are perfectly round. <laughs> are they really, Nightbot? Have you seen them for yourself? Actually, no. We don't want to do that yet. So we started here tonight, for those of you joining. Uh, Drawn to Life. We started here. So we are three, six, seven variants in. Um... Yeah. Okay, so that will almost wrap it up, except today in the Discord, Pac-Man Fan 2001 shared another variant. I know he said he wanted to try to make it tonight. I don't think he's going to be here. I think Bubble Bobble is on the list. That is one of my personal favorites. Yes, sir. I have a watch. I have a save search for this one. Can't think of anything, but it's interesting to talk about. Well, we are happy to have you here, Dan. Whether you can contribute or not, happy to have you. Alright, so here's a slipcover of Plants vs. Zombies. I'm sure it's hard to tell from these lovely pictures, but these are actually... This is a slipcover, and I think, yeah, that's pretty neat. It's got the uh, cutout there for that little, I don't know, what is that, the sunflower? That's pretty funny, actually. I like that. Is faking a variant a thing? Um, probably. I, I imagine that there are some terrible human beings out there. Pawning it off as something weird. I've never heard any stories like that, but it would baffle me if there weren't people doing that, honestly. Uh, so, Alright, so let's take a look. Plants, zombies, DS. First of all, does this one have a not for resale? It does not. Honestly, it's going to be tough to say whether or not this one came with a slip cover. Oh, maybe it's not. This has a different cover than this one. So, these yellow ones... Wow, has anyone ever noticed this, like, in the world? <laughs> I'm going to say that this one came with the uh, slip cover. Because it literally has the dude there just for the slip cover. And then there's this version. And there's a different publisher logo, so one of them is the first print, one of them is the later print. Let's just let's just do a little quick research here. Formerly sexy action cool? <laughs> Excuse me? They originally a phrase taken from a poster of Desperado. Their first title was a strip poker game called Foxy Poker and was supposed to serve as a revenue stream for their future titles. Alright, isn't this the people behind, like, freaking, um, Bejeweled, yeah. That's amazing. 
Thank you for the 11 of you for stopping by. Uh, don't forget about our friendly neighborhood <sighs> magic conch shell if you have any questions that need answering. Um, okay. I've actually never played Plants vs. Zombies. Like, I've heard it's pretty great, but... Yo, Blockbuster Late Fees from the Get the Greg Games live stream is here to hang out. Metal Slug 7 sealed with dog tag. Amazon pre-order variant from 2008. Yeah, I totally recognize your your awesome name, Blockbuster Late Fees. I love that crap. Thank you so much for subscribing and supporting. Um, we will look at that one in a moment. Sounds like a really awesome one. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and add this to the list. We got Plants vs. Zombies slipcover variant Winx Club Mission Enchantix DS is rare now I will gladly take a look isn't there like a rare 3DS Winx game uh, plants versus zombies slipcover and I'm gonna go ahead and say plus cover art variant Saving Alfea. Is that on DS? Wish I had more Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar, both DS and 3DS. Okay. Let's take a gander at the Sweet Metal Slug 7 with Dog Tag. Amazon pre order exclusive. So, is it. Am I gonna find it strapped to the. Um, Oh man. Why are your names not. Oh man. Hang on. Good call, Vinny. Channel member list. Where is it? <laughs> it's because every time someone joins and, like, stops being a part of the, um,. You can totally see it in the bottom left corner. I can't even click on it. Anytime someone stops being a member, I have to uh, go delete their name. Here it is. And it like messes with my stuff here. Bro, what is going on here? All right, I'll copy it from here. There we go. And then we'll paste it. There she goes. And we also have to paste it here. Yeah. Science, folks. Long story short, thank you to all my channel members. You're all amazing human beings. It's behind the background. Okay. Metal Slug 7. So, Mr. Blockbuster Late Fees, is this thing strapped to the, uh, strapped to the game with, like, plastic wrap, or is it, um, was it just, like, a pre-order bonus? Give me some more information here. Oh, there's a slipcover. The tags came under the seal, it's nuts? Oh, heck yeah, that sounds awesome. Must not be any on eBay. Let's check sold real quick. Oh, mother effer. I'm sorry, thank you, Tyler. Um, you're saying the slip cover came over the seal? Never seen it before? Oh, so as if, if I go to sold listings, am I going to see the one that you bought? Oh, heck yeah. Heck yeah, that is so cool. Does it say Amazon in here? Oh, that is awesome, man. I am so glad you shared that. I love that crap.
All right, everybody, make a new save search. So let me ask y'all something. Do you think that all versions of Metal Slug 7 came with a slipcover? Oh my gosh, look at all this. It came with a poster, a disc that looks like it should fit in the GameCube. <laughs> um, what is that, a slipcover? Yeah, dog tags, wow. Very, very freaking cool. This looks like a big box almost. But I guess it's just a regular old slipcover, yeah. It's always hard to tell with slipcovers um, because you don't know if someone just happened to have lost the slipcover or threw it in the trash or if it actually didn't come with one. But I'll go ahead and add it to the list just to be safe. Alright, that's freaking awesome. You get some bonus points, uh, Blockbuster late fees. Just immediately joined and blew everybody's mind. Love to see it. Alright, cool. Let's go check out Winx Club as suggested by Sagero. I don't think it's a variant, but we will type it in anyway. He said it's rare. I am seeing one, two. Oh wow. You better add this to your watch list, folks. Oh, I gotta get the freaking Oh, I didn't freaking switch it, dang it. Heck yeah, blockbuster late fees. Alright, so anyways, here's Winx. Uh seventy dollars. This is pal 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 so we got sixty dollars for case and box only we got 17 auction just started so I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all right now to add this to your watch list mission enchantix alright good call Sagero some nice little shovelware trash for you, but it's published by Konami if that makes anyone feel any better. Alright, let's get this off my screen before I lose some more viewers. One sold for 70 bucks, yeah. This one probably won't go for 70 if I had to guess, but um, definitely somebody can probably score this for 30, 40, or maybe you'll get it for $17.10. Um, was there anything else in the Discord? Nope, that was it. Let's go ahead and start searching. Um, I'm open to ideas. Why full DS games versus shrink wrap seals? Would that also be considered a variant? Wow. Well, this is news to me. I, I, I don't, I'm not super into sealed games, but um, that's that's definitely interesting. I, <laughs> I did a whole show with Craig about like what, what games count as variants and stuff, and a, a variant on the seal never even crossed my mind. I guess if you're a sealed collector, you gotta count seals variants as well. That's so crazy. I, <laughs> I that has never crossed my mind. Blockbuster late fees. I would like to know what y'all think though. Um, I'm gonna type in Nintendo DS 
What do we want? We want... Let's see what collector's editions came out on the 3DS. We got our, um... We got our Adventure Time. Bakugan... Bakugan Battle Brawlers? Ed, Ed, and Eddie DS Y seal Y fold seal. As far as I've been following this game, it always had that third party bad shrink seal. Very interesting. Y fold has to be fake. Very interesting. More often, Y fold is considered to be used in first print of games, although some first print games always had shrink wrap. Yeah, that makes sense. So here we have Battle Brawlers. Let's go ahead and type in Brawlers. Once in a while I find a game cheap on eBay and it's sealed, I'm going to end up opening it and playing it. Not, not playing to resell it anyway. That's totally fair. Totally fair. Like that 7800 game you just bought was sealed, right? All right, let's see, does this, this one's not open. I'm looking for a not for resale, maybe. Oh, look at this. Yo, that is pretty sick. I mean, I don't care about Bakugan, Bakugan, but that's a variant if I've ever seen one. Somebody buy this. <laughs> well, let's see how common it is, I guess. Wow, very cool. Somebody actually opened it, played it, used it. Oh no, the game is sealed, I think. I had no idea Star Wars Episode 3 was a Y-Fold and a shrink wrap version. I guess you gotta count it, man. It's gotta count as a variant. If I guess if you collect sealed games, you have to count it as a variant. <laughs> wow, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and count this. We got Annie Mae in the building. What's going on, my man? Great to see you this evening. Walmart variants of Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Um, yeah, let's let's add it to the list. Stuff to check out. We'll check it out right up to this. Not typing. Vars, 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 vars. Base set. Man, Best Buy, if you could just move your stickers, Walmart. Game and case set for Nintendo DS. I don't know if that counts as a variant or what that counts as, but we're adding it. Please tell me a VAR I do not know. Oh, variants, that's what he's saying. Okay. But there's also the collector's edition, which we already talked about. Uh, let's see if it has a not for resale. That's what I'm most curious about. I thought that said mag magic ball, magic eight ball for a second. The seller's doing the most out here, but he's not doing enough, because I can't see the back of the game case. Oh, because there is no game case. Okay, well that definitely confirms that there was a non-collector's edition of that one. Cool. Uh, let's get the Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver stuff.
Heck yeah, Blockbuster. Thank you so much. Are you guys going to dip and head over to get the Greg games? I totally messed up streaming tonight. I know that he is streaming, and I did not even think about it. Walmart, heart, gold, heart, gold. Oh, this monster? Do we not have this already? Pokemon. LMNOP. We do not have it. <laughs> Shut up, Eddie May. We love Greg around here. What are we calling this? The Ho O figure and Pokey Walker jacket. Do you want the Soul Silver one because you already have the Ho-Oh one? Oh, it's Walmart. Yep, you did say that, didn't you? Well, I'm glad we figured out the music. That was causing me pain. Bro, I'm, my name is not Jim. Unless that's a Jim Halpert thing. That's probably what that was. Uh, before we continue looking at collector's editions... Actually, no, I think we're good. Nobody else mentioned any variants? Let's take a look at Club Penguin, Elite Penguin Force Collector's Edition, an absolute must-have for any collector. Exclusive items for Club Penguin fans, skin, stylus, and 2,500 coins to unlock online. Bloody Fingers, uh, thank you for stopping by. I have 405 GameCube games, maybe 406. So yes, I am working on the set, my friend. Love Club Pengi, heck yeah. Okay. Elite Penguin Force has a collector's edition. Let's get it. Do unattached pre-order bonuses count as variants? No. But let me know what you got anyway. did already but you hate me it's okay I'm not seeing anything from daily beating in like the last hour actually oh there he is nope that was di oh wait Pokemon diamond pre-order bonus stylus does that count as a variant pre-order bonus stylus this have Dialga on it? No, that does not count as a variant, though it is super cool, and if I was a DS collector, I would absolutely want that. Very cool, very cool. Thank you for the 10 of you hanging out this evening. 
Um, we have yet another Bakugan. Oh no, this is Beyblade. Is there any difference? Counter Leon, <laughs> Beyblade included. Oh, this is published by Hudson. Chibi Robo. I have a save search for it. It sells for like 200, 250. I I see um I see them sell pretty frequently because I have added a lot of them to my watch list on eBay. Beyblade Metal Fusion. Let's get it. Also came with a holder for them. Oh, that sounds pretty sick. Wow, that must be rare as heck. What game are you looking for? I'm looking for Chibi Robo, actually. I'm looking for about 150 GameCube games. But anime, you only want to sell things in bulk, man. So I'm done trying to work with you. <laughs> you want like two grand worth of purchases at one time. Oh, here it is. This is what you were talking about right here. Reserve both copies and get a free holder. Do it, does it show you what it looks like? Oh, that is cool. Wow. $40? That's it? How is this not like freaking five grand? How many kids ordered both games? Like, literally, I was blessed to get Diamond, and my cousin got Pearl, and that was that. Anyways, very cool, very cool. You don't have it yet, Tyler? Both games. Vinny, do you have any siblings, my guy? Japan Collector's Edition, very cool. No sibling, Vinny, we're both only childs, only childrens. Defenders of the Core, Bakugan, another one. Limited Edition, let's see. Wow, this is cheap. This is kind of cool for 20 bucks. Uh, just the box, nine bucks shipped. Oh, wait a minute. That looks different than the other one. Do we have variants of variants? Oh, heck yeah. Let's freaking go. We're getting some excitement out here. $40 seems like a steal. I agree. Oh, you're talking about the uh, talking about the Pokemon thing. All right, let's see. We got yellow guy. We got black and yellow guy. We got blue guy. I wonder if one is more rare than the other. There always is. There's another one, white and red guy. White and red. That's a snake, oh my goodness. And it's in multiple languages. The other ones were not in multiple languages. Oh, I'm gonna lose my mind. That's the hammer guy. Thor, we'll call him Thor. I think that's a new one. Snake. I think that's a new one too. Well, naming the variants on the Excel sheet is going to be very interesting. Published by Sega in Japan. Published by Activision here. Is that the same hammer or a different hammer? Also, is this a new one? Okay. 
We've got several to look at. We're also gonna look at souls real quick. Why is no one freaking out in the chat right now? I'm, I'm losing my mind. Variants on variants are what we live for. Red guy. Snake. Snake with multiple languages. Let's go ahead and click on that one. Maybe they all had multiple... No, they definitely don't. So there's variants, and then there's French-Canadian variants of the variants. Thank you, Tyler. Where'd it go? There we go. Okay. That's all on eBay. Let's go take a look. So we got... Do they have names? Can I get some lore in here? Can someone tell me the name of this man from Bakugan? Dang it. They didn't write anything on the box. Those jerks. Okay, here we go. Here's a French-Canadian one. My budget for a Chibi Robo is going to the cheapest one on eBay and going under that. <laughs> G... I don't even know what you just said. But let's do it. We have... Alright, so we need Bakugan Defenders of the Core added to the Excel sheet. And we need Limited Edition. Bakugan figure, Bakugan action figure included. So we have, honestly, if I were doing this, I would go and do the research and find out what these dudes' names are so that I could put them in my notes. But I'm not going to do that while we're on stream, so we're going to go red and white dragon. <laughs> and then we're going to go... So that's the red and white dragon. Next up is snake. But it's not really a snake, it's like a, a worm. <laughs> I don't know. We're going worm on that one. Next up white and I'm thinking that's blue mm. this is tough go white blue well let's go blue and gold <laughs> I'll have to come back and edit that another time I guess mm, we have turquoise <laughs> turquoise angel wings Aren't they aren't there different Zuzu pets toy variants? That sounds stressful. Oh wait, this one is not North American. This is this is not from North America. The other ones were. We have um Hammer Guy. But there's another hammer guy, right? Is this the same one? It is. We're good. I don't know. Maybe I could call him Golem Holding Hammer? Two 
too many variants, I'm overwhelmed. We are only 70 in. Hammer wielding creature. I don't know, golem. Let's go golem. That feels right. English text only. people my viewers are dropping like flies but I don't care because we got Bakugan variants of variants all right so we got they don't make this easy what do you call that what the heck am I looking at ancient turquoise guy um, I I don't know guys Two available, seventeen dollars plus shipping. And then we have Red Dragon. That one's pretty straightforward. That's El Condor. I don't even know what that is, Tyler. Am I uncultured for that? Oh wait, we already have Red and White Dragon. Is this different? Oh no, this first one was not a dragon. Y'all are letting me call things dragons when they're not dragons. Red and White Creature with Bat Wings. I'm looking a list right now. Oh, heck yeah. That's the turquoise one, or which one is that? Dragon, dragon, fight the dragon. Alright, moving forward. We got the dragon. We got this worm looking thing already. Yellow beast? What is that? Is his mouth open? Yellow and gray. That's what we're going with. English text only. I don't know what that's from, Vinny. Yellow and gray creature. Worm is Worm Quake. With a capital Q. If it's Dragon Ball, I've never seen. I think I saw the very first episode of Dragon Ball like a year ago, and that was it. Another hammer? I can't take it! Black and yellow, double-sided hammer. Um, English text only? Oh, they cropped it out? That's okay, the ESRB tells me it's English only. Go back to the red and white one. There you go quick glance for you. DBZ is king. Sadro, you're still there, my guy? These are straight up Yu-Gi-Oh knockoffs right here. Can't see. Oh. I've been so good at it. 
pretty sure this guy's in Yu-Gi-Oh. Can confirm. Right, Hannah? I have nothing to input. That's all good. Just happy to have you here. Way better character design, but if I go to Yu-Gi-Oh! right now with their 20,000 monsters, I guarantee I'd find this dude, and this dude, and especially this dude. Uh, we're going Blue Turtle on this one. I don't care if it doesn't have a head. English text only. Alright, so literally two, four, six, eight, nine. There's got to be at least ten. They can't just have nine. That's pretty freaking great. I love it. You're streaming till 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. This is news to me. It's going to be me right there at 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Reyes Diablo. Alright, thank you. Turtle is Limulus. Okay. Here's our list. One quick look at it before I move on with my life. Our lives. You know what, speaking of Yu-Gi-Oh, do you think there are any Yu-Gi-Oh Nintendo DS variants out there? Did... How, I feel like... I can't even think of a Yu-Gi-Oh game on Nintendo DS. Yeah, you can give them to me, um, uh, Tyler. They probably all come with cards, so... 10,000%? Hannah has done the research. Yeah, every Yu-Gi-Oh game comes with cards, so... I'm thinking... I would have to look at, um... I actually just closed the tabs, Tyler, so let's just... Let's just, uh, thank you for letting me know. Let's just go ahead and, um... Skip out on that for now, I guess, because I totally closed all the tabs. The only variants I could see there being, um, like obviously like a USA-1 or something, but since they all come with cards, maybe there's like, you know what, Yu-Gi-Oh! Wikipedia, I can send you the link, yeah that'd be good man, thank you very much. What cards come with the games? The Yu-Gi-Oh! fandom totally has all of this stuff. That is not what I need. Here we go. Can I sort by console? No, because it's not a video game website. Alright, so let's just, for, for instance, Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship 2008. Promotional cards. The Yu-Gi-Oh! Wikia fandom has us covered. In English, French, and German, Italian, and Spanish, you get these. Okay, so that's it. If there was a variant, they would most likely know about it on here. Um, I don't know if we really feel like looking it through all of them right now, but I guess that's what we're here to do. World Championship 2011. No variants.
Anyone play any uh, Yu-Gi-Oh on DS? Eternal Duelists. Game Boy Advance. Yeah, I've never played a DS one either. We have Nightmare Troubadour. Let's see what that one looks like. That's it. That's not a very good breakdown, Yu-Gi-Oh fandom. Oh, here we go. Yeah, if you're ever trying to complete your games, this website is excellent. I actually started making an Excel sheet for this crap to compile it all, just make it easier, you know, no freaking advertisements. Um, okay, we got that one. Wow, so they released the DS game and then after that, there were three, two more GBA games? That's hilarious. Spirit Caller. There's an Animal Crossing variant. Does it have the Wi-Fi thing? Is that what it's about? Dang, there are several DS games. Card Almanac? Alright, I'm done looking at these. just because I feel like I have to keep it entertaining here. But I do want to see what Card Almanac costs. I've literally never heard of that game. Why haven't I heard of it? Because it did not release here. Alright, Animal Crossing DS. What are we what are we looking for here? Oh, this little guy that's like came bundled with a console. Good call. Do we have that one already? We may. We certainly do. Good call though, Sagero. If you guys want to take a quick gander, I can zoom in a little more for y'all. Maybe uh, 135. Tana Montana. Actually, I was looking at that one today for some reason. I don't remember why. But no, I don't have it on here. Is it a slipcover or is it like the Animal Crossing one? Oh, it's a whole slipcover. Makes you wonder if it ever actually came without a slipcover or if kids just lost it. Who knows? We'll never know. We're gonna add it to the list. What other collector's editions? Beyblade Metal Fusion we got, Bakugan we have plenty of. I 
I can't believe we're down to four viewers on an eBay stream. I don't know what the people want out here. Kung Zhu. This is not looking like the collector's edition, my man. Vinny said he's still here. Ultimate Mortal Kombat DS. Oh, what is this? Oh, nothing. This is not the collector's edition, man. WBO from Wada Games. Yep, I saw them post that. Actually, I don't use this website a whole lot. Where do you find... Do they post it on their website, or do I just have to go to freaking Wada Games on Instagram? Bro, you're not going to let me scroll down without logging in. Oh, I totally have not seen this GameCube one. This Animal Crossing one. Or maybe it's on uh, Super Nintendo. There she goes. Oh, please just let me see it. Jerk. Alright. Midway release. WB Games release. Originally published and released by Midway in 2007, it was re-released under WB Games as a result of the acquisition. There you have it. Good call, Sagero. Is it WB Games is the second one? Yes, it is. And you're saying it says USA-1 on it? Yes-1, okay. Toy Story 3, DS, Sealed Cards, Toys R Us. Let's see. Toys R Us collectible 3D cards. Yes, sir. We have three Toy Story 3 variants. Thank you, Tyler. Thank you. Collector's Editions. North America, please. I'm thinking there might be Bakugan Battle Brawlers variants of variants, but I really don't feel like looking at them all after going through all those other ones we just did. Toys R Us exclusive for Beyblade Metal Fusion. Pegasus 100 HF Beyblade included. Do we have that one already? We have Beyblade Metal Masters Toys R Us exclusive big box with exclusive top. Yeah, it's different than this one, I guess. Or, this is probably missing the big box, I don't know. Is this the same collector's edition? No. Pokemon Black and White 2 that you got a Sinnoh starter? Yep, we got that on the list as well. Black version has Lucario. Black and white both have that. Black and white 2 Pokemon unlock code included.
Uh oh. A blister pack. A lot of people will argue that this is a variant. I don't know. What do y'all think? That looks pretty variant ish to me. It doesn't look like a Best Buy or Target or Sam's Club exclusive type of crap where they just put it together. This is like a. This is a real retailer variant right here. Herbert's Revenge Blister Pack. Wait, it says this is Herbert's Revenge, but the box says Elite Penguin Force? I don't know about that. This also says it. I don't know. I think... I think, obviously, the factory was just trying to get rid of some excess stuff. But... We're gonna count it. This, this has an official Nintendo seal, like, on this actual blister pack. I'm calling it a variant for sure. Disney Club Penguin. Herbert, is that his name? Herbert's Revenge. Blister pack with DS case. Console case? Carrying case. Monster High Ghoul Schools all have slip covers. Do we have Monster High? We have Monster House. Ghoul School. Alright, let's check it out. I feel like I've seen this one at the store and it always has a slip cover. But honestly, I feel like I need to write all the slip covers down because you really have no idea which games came with them like we we honestly will never know unless they have not for resale on them which of course they don't they all have cutouts for the barcode if i were to take an educated guess i would say this game always came with a slip cover but we can't confirm that so i'm gonna write it down anyway ghoul spirit not ghoul school Come on, Sagero. Get your monster highs right, man. I think we definitely have Mateo's Disney Magic on here. Slip cover. Good call, though. Ghoul Spirit Slip Cover. Are you just googling, are you just searching um, slip covered Nintendo DS? Totally smart thing to do. I think we have all of these, although, actually, no, we don't have any that have a plush. Oh, snap! We totally don't have this. You think you know my methods? <laughs> Lego Star Wars, Batman, Star Wars 3, Plain Collect, Funko Pop Bundle. This is Collector's Pack Limited Edition. Oh, wow. For freaking $26? Are you kidding me? Plus $13 shipping. Hang on. Let me see what's what's going on here. Moon. Stylus and cartridge case bonus. I wonder if it was a variant for this or if it came in the case. I'll take a gander here in a minute. My mind is currently blown by this. We got a plushy episode of Collective Perspective coming y'all's way shortly. We 
got one for 26 plus a lot of shipping we got $50 here $50 there $40 Wow so these are kind of common but I feel like they will not be common forever plus um, yeah there is at least four I'm not gonna sit here and go count how many there are but $20 plus shipping seems pretty good to me especially if you're a Star Wars fan oh is this a variant of a variant nope just a price tag anyways let's add it we got the collector's pack limited edition Okay. We got Moon Nintendo 3DS. We're going to copy and paste that sucker. Stylus plus cartridge case bonus. This game is like pretty sought after. Oh. Wow, good find, Tyler. The fact that it comes with this little baggie kind of makes you think that it was actually like inside of here with it or possibly sealed to the back of it. Oh, there's the stylus. It's hard to tell. You have no idea if this is a variant or if it was a pre-order bonus. Let's Google it. Oh look, it has it this is what it looked like when it was sealed. It had a freaking staple on top. Pre-order bonus. I think it's safe to say that this was not a variant, but still very cool, very cool find. Yeah, what is this? <laughs> Good old Pinterest. Wow, if I was a Harvest Moon fan, that's pretty neat. We got Paws and Claws, Dogs, Cats, Best Friends, Dash One Variant. What do we have here? Pets, Pony, Beauty Pageant, Paws and Clogs. Yes, we do have that one. Thank you, Sejiro. This company, Mastiff, got like bought out in the, or bought somebody out in the uh, GBA days. I always think about that. There's publisher variants and USA-1 stuff on GBA with Mastiff Publisher. Alright, we're coming up on two hours here. The chat is like pretty slim. We got five people watching. I really appreciate everybody hanging out this evening. Um, I think we're going to call it here. This is two streams in a row. I have had a blast with y'all. Oh, you know, today when I was thinking about it, Chrono Trigger with the poster is definitely a variant. I'm pretty sure there's like a sticker on the seal, right? There it is. But are there sealed copies without the sticker? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the first. Like, one of them is, is first and one of them is later. Are there pop reports for DS games? Because that would give me the uh, variant information. Poster is first. Very nice, very nice. Nintendo, not DS. Chrono Trigger without a sticker. Well, considering this one is graded a 9.8 A+, without the sticker, I'm going to go ahead and agree with you. Made in Japan. What does this one say? I bought both prints as they came out. 
First run poster. First run only. Oh, it literally says it. God bless Square Enix for actually putting that on the freaking sticker. No company has ever done that. That is... God bless Square for that. That's hilarious. Man, I freaking need Con Chrono Trigger. That game looks so fun. That's a good one to end it on. Sejro, you must be a huge fan if you bought both prints before collecting was even a thing. We don't have it already, right? Nope. I guess it's not technically a sticker variant because there's actually something inside. I like how you pronounce chrono. I don't know if it's chrono, chrono. It's probably wrong. <laughs> Alright. Well, thank you very much. Everyone go hang out with Get the Greg Games, the amazing Water Games guy. He's probably live right now on YouTube. Um. I'll probably stop by over there myself. But thank you all for hanging out this evening. Sadro said wait, so we're going to wait a minute. Yes, Tyler, I'm two hours in. I'm ending already. Two streams a week. That's what I'm waiting for. <laughs> Um, I don't know, man. It's just, it's just tough to commit. Tough to commit. I gotta do the podcast every month. I gotta do two collective perspectives every month. I wanna get other content out, just like the new Bomberman video I just released. Um, not counting technical difficulties. You're not, you're not getting me into it, Tyler. Hate. And don't even try asking the magic conch. It's not happening tonight. Um... I don't know. I would like to do two streams a week. This is the second one this week, so I am off the hook. But, uh, yeah. I don't know if I'm ready to commit. But I would like to... If it makes you feel better, Sejiro, I kind of want to, um... Switch over to, like, every Monday is the eBay stream. And then any other stream I do after that during the week would be the game. So, kind of flipped of what's happening now. So I would like to prioritize eBay streams, which should make you feel better. Um, or maybe not. I don't know what you prefer, Sejiro. What's your video request, Tyler? cool heck yeah thank you for the 34 people that stopped by this evening <laughs> Tyler I'm waiting man Thank you for hanging out, Game Girl Advance SP. You know that GameCube collection video you did? Can you do one about a different collection of yours than like certain titles you plan to get for that system or deals you got for said collection? I'm sure everyone would love to see my Game Boy Advance collection. I've gotten a lot of requests for it. Um, I definitely think there's one in the near future for that. I would prefer to see a GBA one, but I'm down with any, honestly. I really enjoyed that style of video you did. Well, I really appreciate that feedback, Senor Tyler. Um, I'll definitely consider it. I want to do, in the near future, 
I want to get this game room finished. Y'all can't see it, but there is a uh, there is a shelf that needs to be built. There is yeah, there's a few more things that need to happen in this game room so that I can get a like game room update video going. I recorded a bunch of footage of me tearing the game room down, which I want to kind of have in like a uh, sped up thing situation. Um, I want to get a Rayman collection video out next soon. And yeah, I would like to do something with Game Boy Advance because I know people subscribe to me for Game Boy Advance content for sure. Will Tyler be better than Christian at Modern Warfare 2? Thank you so much, Tyler, for the $1.99 donation. By doing so, it will put you on the right path. By doing so, it will put you on the right path. I think that's a yes, Tyler. I think it just said that you will be better than me. I love every single one of y'all. Thank you so much for hanging out this evening. Vinny, Hannah, Sajero, um, anyone else that's still out there? Annie Mae, Blockbuster Late Fees, good old Bloody Fingers, Daily Beating. Thank you all for hanging out. Dan. Alright. And of course, Tyler Hate. Good night, guys.